Hey, uh, it's Thomas Asula Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to view the Jungle Book 2016 live action version. And I guess the main question is can a live action Disney movie surpass its classic version? Well, I suppose the Jungle Book finally did it. It's the movie that I think. Uh, as far as the live action version is concerned is probably better than the original version so good job Disney you did it uh, so of course this mo uh, movie features and follows Mowgli as he's raised by a pack of wolves and as he's uh, sort of transferred from Bagheera, Black Panther, to the wolves. They take care of him. Uh, but he's still doing these things that are considered human, these tricks as they call them in the movie. And uh, he finally gets to meet with the other animals. And this is where we meet Shere Khan. Now, Shere Khan makes his threat that he will start hunting Mowgli at a certain time, so uh, Bagheera, wanting to keep Mowgli safe, decides that he's going to bring him back to the human world. Uh, so they set off, and uh, something happens where like um, uh, the, the environment plays against them. Uh, Mowgli ends up making a Lion King reference where he like falls down because Shere Khan was chasing them uh, and he falls in this pit and there are a bunch of like I believe they're either rams or like buffalo or something and they, they're chasing him and then he decides to get on and runs away even further thus enters Baloo where uh, after he gets off we see him meet with Baloo. Baloo saves him from Ka, who has a very short uh, time in this movie, but in all fairness, that kind of makes sense that Ka's time in this movie would be a little bit short. Uh, so the so Blue it has one over on Mowgli, so uh, he has um collect these beehives and. He has his tricks again, and he decides to use them. Uh, and then, after that, he's like, "Oh, we're even." And then I was, and then he's like, "Oh, I will kind of want us, but I kind of have to go home because Bakira kind of kept telling me to go home." So, Baloo says, "Hey, you can stay with me until a certain time. We'll figure something out." Uh, so they decide to stick together and they actually keep the song from the classic movie they carried over into here this is really nice uh, so they're sort of floating down the river singing the song the bare necessities of course uh, and after that like Bakira's like sort of hanging around near the area and then uh Mowgli's book do something but then he gets like captured by a monkey like the I think he gets like told um, something that like sets him off apart from the other two and then he gets captured by a monkey or a gorilla I should say and then they capture him and they bring him back to uh, King Louie who's played by Christopher Walken uh, and King Louis wants to make a fire. Uh, he wants this, as they refer to it, like the red flower, I believe they could refer to it as in this movie. Uh, so Mowgli's like, I don't know how to do that. And King Louis's like, well, uh, you know, you could probably do it. You're a human, you'll figure it out. And uh, Blue and Shere Khan, I mean, Blue and Bakira, my bad, uh, have to follow them. They climb up the mountain, they get up there, uh, Baloo sets up the distraction, Bakira comes up behind, Mowgli chases after, uh, I mean runs away, and then uh, they get out of there, 
and it's due to uh, King Lily's size, his uh, movement causes the pillar area to collapse, and then uh, he's starting to get crumbled underneath. Uh, Mowgli is like set up on this tree, and he finally finds out what happened to his little father. Uh, Shere Khan had killed him earlier in the movie, so now Mowgli returns to the human, like close to the human camp, and he finally decides to get some fire. Uh, and he runs through the forest, and he like drops a little thing of fire, and doesn't recognize that it's gonna spread. Uh, so he keeps running into the forest, and as soon as he uh, returns, Shere Khan had been waiting in the village, or in that area where all the other animals were. Uh, he was just sort of chillaxing this entire time, uh, just knowing that Mowgli would return, because somehow like news would eventually spread that uh, the wolf died, and that's sort of what happens. Uh, Mowgli then has the fire and everyone's scared of him and Shere Khan using his wit says you're exactly what I told you you would be uh, you turn into this man cub that is able to use this weapon and you're different from everything else uh, so he refuses to use it he throws it away and then Shere Khan's like you stupid uh, but he has Baloo and Bakira by his side as they step up and find him some room space in order for him to start running into the part of the forest that is now on fire. He's like in this big tree, he climbs up it, he sets up Shere Khan, where he like sets up this trap where he comes across the tree uh, platform, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, Shere Khan leaps at him and Mowgli falls with the thing tied around him and uh, Shere Khan falls into the fire, burning him, and thus Mowgli is safe and the elephants come in and the elephants have been said to be the uh, creators of the forest and then they help, like, the put out the flames and earlier in the movie like at some point like Mowgli saves one of the elephants so you know uh this movie took out the character of the girl completely from the movie um I'm assuming they felt that that was unnecessary as they go for a different ending here as Mowgli uh decides to stay in the forest instead of being uh hypnotized by girl plot device who sings a song and that's essentially her entire character as far as I remember it in the first movie so they decided to go for a different ending um, where he stays in the forest and he decides to hang with the new cubs and yeah it's a I would say it's a lot more solid from what I can recall from the first movie I mean I barely re remember it but um they kept everything like they it, instead of like repeating stuff because i know that's something that um the original jungle book did was like repeat a few scenes here and there um they kept one straight narrative and even though like he it's sort of like his adventure through all these different animals um it never feels like it's somewhat out of nowhere it feels like okay he's like in his next spot if you will um and the cast is pretty great here so uh, I'm gonna give this movie an 8 out of 10 I I agree uh, uh this movie is pretty darn good probably one of the better uh live action Disney movies thus far uh I mean I haven't seen uh, the only other one I've seen so far is Cinderella, so I can't say, I can't compare it to the other ones. I can't remember, like, there's Maleficent, and then there's, like, one other one, I think. Um, but other than that, that's about it for The Jungle Book. Applause to Disney for uh, 
doing a pretty solid live action movie. Now with that said, I'm Thomas Sula Jr. aka Mustache Tom and I'll see you guys next time.